bracket update. Go McKenby vs. Adorable Knight. Winner gets into top eight to fight Maloney, Maloney. who has gone on a tear once entering in losers. But Maloney, Matador, 2-1. Yep. Interesting stuff. JG beating Paco, then slam. So mm -hmm. JG's playing the loser of this match to see who makes it into top eight. So Nebula, Nam, whoever loses goes out to fight JG. And then Ducks. Casper is fighting Ducks to oh. make for win top eight winning in. But enough about the losers match. We got this last winner's quarterfinals mm -hmm. match uh, here. Nebula versus Nam. The, I guess the, uh, the retro king of MSU versus uh, Mr. Number Three in state, Nam. Uh, Nebula actually number two. Oh really? Yeah, Slam uh, did a little better at uh, the most uh, at the last semester set of weeklies. Okay. I was pretty razor thin between the two of them. Oh, shield break! All right, I mean we're not gonna see much of a punish. Hold on, you don't. I mean it's Nebula. Let's see what he's got here. Nom. Okay, very much at all. I think Nam could have just decided not to mash out of that for some reason. Oh, that that. <laughs> I, I've never seen. <laughs> Almost such a lackluster shield for it, that is It seemed like he had something intentional he wanted to do there. I think with based on like where the setup was, it looked like he was trying to do a stage bike with the hydrant. But yeah. now I'm just not going to get in that yeah. zone. All right, we got the Steve, Steve Jobs coming out, throwing them apples throwing at the apples. you. Trying to kill you with the prices. Oh, uh -oh. we got stun. Up smash. Yep, you're gonna dead. Get the kill. 66% on board. Nebula looking pretty clean. And you know, Nebula is one of those players that he's always been a, I guess, hidden boss of the scene. Yeah. He's never had that true breakout tournament where he's kind of like secured a PR spot or uh, even been on the uh Is he spreadsheet. Not spreadsheet? I don't think so. I mean, there's been 11, 12, now 12 spreadsheets. So I've seen a lot of names go on there. Or you're just supposed to know all of them. I, I expect that out of you. I'm sorry. <laughs> but <laughs> anyway. Uh, I, we've actually been talking about it, like who from the watch list we think is like just one more performance puts them on and maybe gives them a, uh, a secure yeah. spot at the end of the season. And Nebula Ooh, is one of those clean. people who just needs one more tournament. Mm -hmm. And we got to see if he beats Nam today. Definitely one of those final, uh, like maybe like one of the nails on the, that plaque of I got ranked finally. Yeah. We'd love to see him on there. Definitely somebody. I mean, it wouldn't be, like, that makes so much sense for Michigan to have a uh, Pac-Man on the PR. <laughs> <laughs> Michigan is, like, it's one of the states that it truly is hardest to get Ooh. ranked with a top tier, mm -hmm. if you think about it. I mean, we can dis discuss about that more than later on, but right now, Nebula, 88% lead, but, you know, Nam can just bring that back in a heartbeat with Sheikville, but not going to get much out of that quick little bit of a punish. Getting the fair there. Ooh, fair I think drink. he's starting a grab bait right there from Nebula. Now I'm getting a nope. grab. Yeah, too much rage on that Sheik forward throw. So if they DI like up and away, mm -hmm. not going to get any type of bouncing fish uh, punish now. Yeah, just got to yeah, stick to the fair. bread and butters, the uh, F tilt and the fairs. That's what's going to um, give you like the hits you need as Sheik right now. Oh, oh, the hydrant coming flying in. And you can tell Nam was actively trying to avoid that. Oh my oh. god, that was so close. The nice the backer here. actually uh, clanked with that uh, hydrant, or the the bell, excuse me. Got a trap set up so he can charge up a Galaxian. Oh, he was looking, uh, Nam, was, Nam was definitely looking for like a soft hit Nair into uh, Bouncing Fish. Yeah, but Nebula just gonna barely miss it. Mm -hmm. He's, Nebula is one solid setup away, but so is Nam. Trying to get the Apple Snipe, yep. the hydrant coming in. Nebula Sometimes takes there's game one. Just, there's so much stuff coming in from Nebula. Pac-Man just throws so much stuff at you. He throws you the, the kitchen sink. Yeah. And you're just not ready for everything. And Nebula is, if you think about it, if, you, if you've watched this play in the past, he's not very, he's not really a true campy Pac-Man no, per se. No, no. He, he's very trap oriented. Mm -hmm. He likes to, ha he has these specific setups that he goes for. Mm -hmm. And he has a slight, like slight aggressive tendency. Yes, he'll play patient when he needs to, mm -hmm. but he's got a wall set up for those moments. It's not like a, his game plan is, I'm gonna time you out. And I don't know anything else but that. <laughs> right, exactly. It's not, I'm gonna play so frustratingly slow that you are going to uh, just approach me to death, basically. Yep. And now I'm just trying to find the, as much damage as he can while having Pac-Man in disadvantage. One of the best places for Pac-Man to be when you're, uh, he's your opponent is just off stage. 
Like, sure, he's got an incredible recovery, but ha having him off stage means he does not have, he's not getting, like, fruits. Mm -hmm. he does, there's no uh, hydrant creating some type of barrier. You have him right where you want him. We gotta see, can Nam make the adjustments here in game two? He just ran it right back to Smashville, so you know he's very confident about his uh, play here. Hydrant coming in towards Nam, but he's just gonna shield out of it and get a small combo for a punish. Oh, I thought he was gonna go for an up smash there. It looked like based on where uh, Pac-Man Drift was going, you might have been able to sneak in a tipper up smash. Yep. Go that setup right there with uh, the bell into the uh, uh, Hydrant. I've seen him do some crazy stuff with that in the past. Oh, oh got that orange. Sneaky, sneaky. And the, yeah. <laughs> the needles for Hydrant. That's not a yeah. good trade for Nam. No, that, there was just enough cooldown on the needles to where that just hit him. Uh, Nebula just gonna stay. Oof. Look at that, just those little bit of traps. It's <laughs> so nice. Like, the the intricate plays you see Nebula do, just, you know he's like one of the best Pac-Man. Pac-Man. <laughs> Pac-Man, Pac-Man. Pac-Man, I think. Oh, nice oh the Vanish, Vanish going deep. Yeah, they both were like down in no man's land. Uh, you did not want to see that happen. Like, neither one of those players wanted to be down there because of mm -hmm. their up -bees having such high kill potential on mm -hmm. each other. Nebula's up has invincibility on start of it and stage spike. And Vanish has invincibility mm -hmm. and can just blow you <laughs> up and send you off stage. Fair. Not going to get Sheik Vild. Platform just not going to be with him. Okay. This now, now this is where you want Pac-Man. Like, sure, like, you've got the... You've got, like, this person quick... Oh! I like that. Ooh. Oh, my God. This platform He combo. almost had... Like, he, he went... He actually, I think he had the DI trap there. But because, like, he had... Like, if he... If Pac-Man had just a little bit more percent, that would have been the end. Whew. This is so close here. Yeah. You're, we're, uh, the amount of adjustments we've seen come out of mm -hmm. Nam in this match, pretty insane. Oh. Oof. That forward tilt. Yes, the quick little boot. <laughs> oh, we got Galaga. Yep. Forcing uh, Nebula into an air dodge, but you know what? Nebula's fi perfectly fine with that. He'd rather recover from down mm -hmm. low. He has so many options to stall off stage as well. Like, you can be off stage oh, forever, and that's a hydrant those, to the face. Those, that needle cooldown, man, that is just not working out for him. Just missing the catch on that Galaxian there, that's unfortunate. Yep. And you can kind of tell, like, oh, ooh, I was I was thinking, I'm like, now I'm not, he's not really playing around with the hydrant too much. He's uh, just going to let the hydrant sit there, because, like, mm -hmm. that might be it. Yeah, yep. that's going to do got it. the DI trap. But we're gonna get game three, and this is a fantastic set. Yeah, you're no. getting to see all of Pac-Man's kit here, all Definitely. of his different traps. Because Nebula, I think he knows them all. I don't. There yeah. might be something he doesn't know, or something he doesn't think of on the second. But he is so good. And somebody like Nam, who knows how to get out of the basic stuff, not getting hit by the level one combos, is uh, forcing out these levels two and threes from him. And Nebula. How deep is his bag of tricks for Game 3 here on Final Destination of all places? I like the counter pick. Um, I mean, for both players, it's going to be kind of universally mm -hmm. okay. Oh, he's going to get the key in hand. He's done big, big things with that. Oh, but Nebula lost his jump there in that F-Tilt exchange. Quick 0-31. to 31. Yep. Oh, well, got the key on hand, but he's going to do some insane shield Ooh. damage. And Nam! Nam! going to just turn again. that around in a quick, in a jiffy. Oh, my Ooh. gosh. I expected Nebula to do the, you know, that 60, 70 damage, but Nam is the one taking advantage of that key yep. in that scenario. He was just waiting for Nebula to kind of expose himself for mm. just one little slip up, and he was able to go in and just unleash the beast pretty much on him. 71% mm. like almost unanswered right there. You're going to get the orange once again in hand. Yep. Oh, mm. red trampoline. Strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Whoa. that! Pa oh my gosh! Ne uh, Nam has been doing a really good job in game, specifically starting game two, of timing when his hit. That oh. I, I like that. That was the first attempt he went for F tilt vanish, and Nebula was just expecting it. So smart! You can tell these guys have played a lot. Yeah, but anyway, absolutely. Nam has uh, they made a lot Ooh. of adjustments once the hydrants in play, and he sees mm -hmm. Nebula going for like the hit that'll send it flying, and he is using Sheik's quick frame data to actually take advantage of. The, mm -hmm. where the, the, the hydrant launch.
One thing that I'm noticing from Nam is he's throwing a lot of needles and he's getting hit quite a bit by Pac-Man's more powerful projectiles because he's throwing needles and you got that needle cooldown. Yep. <gasps> oh, he's going to get the Nair to bounce. That was the latest hit of, bounce of Nair that I think you could have asked for. Mm -hmm. And Nebula just got sent right into that perfect spot where Bouncing Fish hits right at the last bit. Mm -hmm. Man. Double down tilt, and that's going to allow Nebula to get stage control, but Nam's going to take it right back with a big fair train. 16%, 22. <laughs> little strawberry Whew. combo. Strawberry shortcake with that. Ooh, Ooh that was clean. Yep. Oh, <laughs> getting hit by the strawberry, trying to run it down and grab it, I think. That apple was coming for him because of the little hydrant spraying. Oh, he, yeah, he had to land with that mm -hmm. bear to hit the uh, the melon because of that. Oh, he's looking at that. He was trying to set up for uh, the hydrant to uh, push the melon over. Mm -hmm. Now I'm 151%, just going to try and just keep on racking up this damage. This is where Pac-Man's going to kind of like... Oh, my. Woo. I was on them, like, this is where Pac-Man struggles, trying to get those last, like, that killing blow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hydrant just fine. going for these quick little jumps. And the jab, jabs. One, two, buckle my shoe. And I love that you like jab one, two, three, and then you uh, up tilt because you think it would send them like it sends the hydrant up, but it actually just sends the hydrant oh, forward. Oh, there's the hydrant. Jab the needles cooldown, man. That's yeah. that's been the name of uh Nam story. Dead. Dying, yeah. Nice. Uh, punish on the roll, get that grab. Not gonna get anything. Bouncing fish was just there to force out the air dodge and maybe put Nebula in disadvantage. But Nebula slowly bringing this back. 54% mm -hmm. uh, now on Nam. But Nam sitting pretty. Oh my god, oh, what the was... that, that had to have been a misinput, right? Oh, uh, not finding his mark there with so many different things. Oh, he got the DI trap. Got yep, the DI trap. It. You could tell, like, the way to tell if Sheik's getting the DI trap mm -hmm. is the, for the first, I guess, um,. I would say like the first two thirds of the up air, mm -hmm. he's on one side, and then as soon as you're about to like approach the end, you just see him drift right in. 